Hi, Sutta. How are you today? I'm good. How are you, Shilpi? I'm doing well. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you for your time. And uh, I would, I'm so excited to know and to see that you are a co-author in the upcoming uh, series, the volume two for Lender for Success. So I have very quick few questions for you, if you don't mind. <laughs> of course I don't, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Just I wanted to, you know, make sure that uh, you don't change your mind. No, no, okay, okay, Shilpi, I don't want to do that. <laughs> so, anyway, so the first question is, what inspired you to write? Um, that's actually a very good question. Uh, the first question is the artist question too. <laughs> well, anyways, actually, you know what? Um, I've been writing for myself for so many years, right? And um, there was actually no inspiration except the fact that I really wanted to share my story out to the world, right? And then the question I asked myself, why, right? So I, I, I always wanted to share my story, but then I didn't know the reason why I wanted to share the story, right? And then um, not too long ago, about a year ago, I started writing almost every single day. And I, I was just sharing it with one of my best friends, right? A couple of my best friends. Mm -hmm. And then um, one day I was, uh, I was thinking about sharing it to the rest of the world pretty much. And then I thought like, why, why would I want to do that? And um, one time it hit me, if I could inspire one person with my story, Mm -hmm. And, you know, let them know that it's okay. And I've been through it. If I, if my story can resonate and relate with somebody else, and if they're able to feel that, you know, somebody else has gone through it, so that has gone through it, and she uh, overcame it, mm -hmm. and uh, she's, she's an individual person that is in total acceptance of herself and what she has gone through, right? And that is a huge inspiration and that is actually the why i was searching for and then i decided if i could change one person uh motivate one person inspire one person then my story is worth it right and you won't believe it she'll be actually um by the time i it's it's not obviously it's like three pages long right by the time i finished my story and I revisited my story over and over again, reading it. And it wasn't an easy story segment of my life uh, to share with the rest of the world. But, you know, by the time I finished writing, I already inspired one person. And that one person is none other than myself. Wow. Right? Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> because, I, I, because I completely healed myself. And to be able to put my story from my heart to be able to go inside and grab it and bring it on a piece of paper, that itself is courage that I didn't realize I had, right? Wow. So I completely healed myself and I inspired myself. So, yeah, That's I hope I beautiful. answered the question. <laughs> no, absolutely, absolutely. It's beautiful how just, I wouldn't say uh, the word just, I would say going through the journey has, has given so much of uh, depth into, you know, just spreading that story with everyone. My God, like the journey itself, it's so much of learning. Yeah. So you mentioned courage, uh, you know, you know, sharing with the world, like had, had so much to do with the courage. So I want to, you know, tweak that and just bring to the next question that I have, who and what were your greatest strength, you know, writing this, uh, oh, the story of yours um well i'd like to start with myself mm -hmm. i am the greatest strength right mm -hmm. because it's <laughs> because it's none other than it's my own story i felt it and nobody has been in my shoes yeah i had my family support uh everybody was there my friends but nobody lived my story i That's lived so my story right i lived it yeah um, they understood, they were there, they were my supporters, they encouraged me, they motivated me, but I am the greatest strength because being able to share a story 
that you are not actually proud of. You criticize yourself the most. I criticize myself the most, right? How are they going to judge me? For a person from a you know Sri Lankan background coming from an environment where um, you know mental health related issue is a taboo, right? Mm -hmm. For me to be able to share it with close friends was very hard for me. Mm -hmm. All these years, I, I just put it under the carpet and mm -hmm. pretended like nothing happened. You know, it was just a phase that I erased mm -hmm. and then I moved on, right? Mm -hmm. But then I felt like, no, even though for everybody and myself, I moved on, I was still holding on to the pain and the trauma inside myself. So the greatest strength mm -hmm. was myself because when I was ready mm -hmm. to bring the story out to the world mm -hmm. that is I am accepting my complete self with the flaws and with the scar so when I accepted myself that is true, cur true courage and true spirit and true healing happens then and there onwards right That's so true. along that line my strength is also my kids and my family <laughs> and my friends and so on yeah so, without them I'm, I'm nothing yeah so beautifully said actually you know that acceptance when you are accepting yourself the way you are gives so much of uh, openness to infinity i guess yeah so beautifully said so um okay so my next question is, how do you feel about sharing your story uh, through Landed for Success, you know, using this particular platform? You know, um, Landed for Success, I do have to say, um, not only the segment or this uh, becoming an co-author with Landed for Success, but they've helped me grow as an individual person. Mm -hmm. And my professional level has boomed like triple fold since I became part of Landed for Success, right? So um, uh, I was just looking for ideas to market myself. And then I got into Landed for Success. I got into networking. I am very anti-tech. And me and you right now, I just told <laughs> you, I've never done this, right? I've never done this, like being able to, you know, uh, do an interview through Zoom and whatnot. And um, this is kind of coming out of my comfort zone, right? So through Landed for Success, the journey has been just so pleasant, right? Mm -hmm. Meeting like-minded individuals who's there to support you mm -hmm. and just positive mindset. That's all it is. Continuous positive mindset, right? So mm -hmm. when I was ready, uh, when I was like contemplating mm -hmm. whether or I should share my story or not, mm -hmm. you know, this universe kind of uh, brings the right people, mm -hmm. right connections when you are actually ready to mm -hmm. heal and ready to move on to your next stage in life, right? Mm -hmm. So that's how I came across Landed for Success. And uh, just randomly, uh, I didn't know that they were actually uh, uh, doing stories, right? Sharing people's uh, stories, experiences, uh, how they became successful. So mm -hmm. when when the platform was available, the opportunity is there, then that's like a sign for me. Hey, Sudha, look, you've been wanting to share, you've been writing, and the source is right there. And it's very easy. I got my story and I, I wrote myself, but I know Landed for Success also offers uh, people who wants to share, but who cannot write like ghost writers to help them throughout. But other than that, I did not know where to start, how to start, how to, pub, uh, you know, how to go through the publications and how to do any of that, right? So they took everything of my worries and they were just laying it out step by step, right? From scratch to end, which is the book launch, which is yet to happen on the 16th, right? And I'm super excited. And without a platform like Landed for Success and the continuous motivation from previous authors, I got in connection with a couple of the previous authors. Mm -hmm. They were supportive. They said, like, go ahead, Sudha. You can do this. You have a beautiful story. Share it. Gordon J., 
You know, there's so many people that I want to mention from Landed for Success mm -hmm. that they've been continuously supporting me to bring forth the best version of myself, right? Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. It's amazing to, you know, uh, to know that there is so much to know about a person, you know, the journey they have made. I'm so excited to read your story. Uh, I'm super excited and waiting desperately when it's going to be launched and the, of course, on the 16th, and I'm going to read it. And I'm pretty sure that uh, the second person who will be who you'll be inspiring is me. <laughs> oh, thank you. And I I know Shilpi, you're going to be writing um, the third volume. Tell me your experience. Uh, to be very I, honest, I <laughs> yes, yes, I have. I uh, am going to write in the third volume, and honestly, I have been writing on my two books which are still work in progress and I never you know um, I'm, I'm just going very slow with those and I always wanted to write and always wanted to be an author and uh, when I came to know Jay and Gordon the co-founders of course uh, of Landed for Success and how everything you know works and how they give an opportunity to share stories it was so exciting. I just jumped on the off, like opportunity and I thought, yes, this is my turn to, you know, share because we always do things. We always go through our lives, but we never have a moment to, you know, self-reflect on what we have done or what happened with us or what, whatever it is, whatever the journey we have made. I think it's going to be an exciting journey for me because I talk a lot and I don't know how much I'm going to, you know, um, put all my life into that uh, chapter of mine it's going to be an exciting journey i'm looking forward to it i'm so excited <laughs> me too i was actually um writing has always been a passion for me right and you know the moment i re realized that uh, i have to i have to dive into my passion right like if you're really passionate about something you really have to uh you know, remove all the hurdles and kind of dive in, right? So that's what I decided to do. And it was, it was coming, totally coming out of my comfort zone for sure. But then I felt like, you know what, I'm ready. Like that's, that's how I felt. I'm ready. And that, that was one of the hardest part, which segment of my life do I share? Because, you know, we through, go through so much of experience, right? Uh, such a rich experience that we all are very unique individuals. Mm -hmm. We can actually become a light source for somebody else out there, right? Mm -hmm. And for myself, I became a light source for myself when I started reflecting and going inward. That's when I decided, you know what, if I could inspire one person with my story, that that's the mm -hmm. most powerful thing right you yes, could do yes, yes. and stories impact yes. uh, everyone right and I am very personal about people and their experiences and I learn from people's experiences too mm -hmm. so uh this is a wonderful opportunity like I felt like finally I had to let go of my uh my uh, the traumatic experience that I uh, I, I experienced um and for that I needed to be able to uh, bring it out and share, mm -hmm. right? And accept it, right? And uh, finally, I decided to give my story wings and let it fly. <laughs> that's 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 what I decided. I gotta let it give give it wings so and let it on, fly. On this note, actually, I want to ask those those people what do you have to say to those people who have a story of course everyone has a story and they want to share it with the world but still you know they're holding themselves back with something some reason or something what do you have to say to them because i think a lot of thing is because people are afraid of judgment and they require uh, validation right so when we need validation for our own experiences that we've gone through that means we are not proud of ourselves, honestly. Like this is from me personally, right? Mm -hmm. Like if I'm looking for validation, mm -hmm. that means uh, I I still haven't healed completely. Mm -hmm. I don't accept myself with uh, the unperfect version of Sudha, right? So I it took me a while to come out of that. And I said, okay, this is a scar. Like I have a scar on my hat, right? I rather make it, into a beautiful story and accept it or 
hide it for the rest of my life and pretend like it doesn't exist. But I know deep down inside here, deep down inside here, it's there, right? Yes. So a lot of people have um, a fear factor or they don't know how the entire process of uh, you know, bringing out the story to the world, right? If you are a person who has a wonderful story to share, and if you think your story is going to impact at least one person, right? And for me, that person was myself, right? And for you, it might be yourself. By the time you write, you might look back as a third, third perspective and wow, like, you know, my story matters, right? So if you're a person who's um, not sure, uh, hesitant, uh, reach out to me or she'll be, right? Talk to us, share your story with us. You don't have to really uh, commit to writing or becoming a co-author, but reach out to one of us and share and we will we will be all ears. And I'm pretty sure she'll be, will be all ears because she's been all ears to me lately. And uh, thank you so much, she'll be actually, I'll take a moment to say my gratitude. <laughs> You're to, most welcome. Yeah, just reach out to one of us and, uh, you know, bring it out. Uh, like I said, give your story wings and yes. let it fly, right? Absolutely. And the third volume where I'll be co-authoring for everyone to know that I'll be co-authoring in the third series. Sutha is in the second series. So if you are interested, feel free to reach out to us or maybe reach out to landedforsuccess.com directly and, you know, get your information, whatever you need, clear your doubts and share your inspiring story with the world, of you course. know. Uh, uh, I think uh, the, the third volume will be released by fall 2022. So by then you'll have your story shared with the world. It will be... Uh, amazing thing it will it will be absolutely a delight you know to know your story and uh, i'm really looking forward to sutha sutha i have seen gordon actually does a very quick thing uh, end of the uh, interview so i want to just i'm inspired by him uh, so i want to do a very quick thing if you don't mind it's a kind of a rapid fire questions it's very silly <laughs> questions actually <laughs> okay. but i want to know the reasons why you are asking me these silly questions because, or is people, just to get because, to know. Uh, because it's very interesting to know people's choices and interests, uh, you know, what they, they like and they don't like. These are very simple questions, actually. Okay, so what is your favorite place? What's my favorite place? Mm -hmm. Anywhere there's uh, waterfalls. Okay, beautiful. What is your favorite song? My favorite song? It's Tamil, is it okay? Yeah, sure. I have, I have a lot of favorite songs. Um, which one do I say? Uh, it's it's a song from Mukatiaman. Like lately, I've been listening to this song every day. I think I shared it uh, too. It's Parthene uh, Weerin Waliye. Okay. And this is one amazing question. Uh, if, you have a, if you have a genie and you're given uh, three wishes, what those three wishes would be for yourself? <laughs> three wishes for myself. Hmm, interesting. Okay. <laughs> this is supposed to be rapid fire and I'm thinking so deep. Um, just, just say it, whatever comes top of your head. Three wishes for myself. I like to see all the places that I wanted to see all my life mm -hmm. travel. Right, mm -hmm. and I like to uh, be. I don't know if the if I'm putting these uh, words in right format. I like to actually make a difference in other people's life. Beautiful, uh, positive difference. Mm -hmm. uh, and third, um, <laughs> I like to do goofy, funny, weird uh, <laughs> things. I just, I yeah, just. Uh, be more adventurous actually wow yeah. beautiful beautiful actually it's it's amazing to you know just understand what journey you have made to write this it's it's an honor that i got to interview you thank you so much for uh you know uh, giving your time and i would really like to thank jay and gordon for giving me this opportunity uh 
you know, sitting here and interviewing Suta. Thank you so much. And I hope you all um, come forward and share your stories. And of course, don't forget, right, Suta? We really want uh, everyone to come and join the launch, the book of launch, course. the online book launch. Uh, it is www.letterforsuccess.com slash book launch. So just feel free to just join in and see the book launch. And do yeah. you want to add anything, Suta? Yeah, I'd just like to mention the book launch, which is on the 16th uh, of this week. And, uh, you know, if you'd like to support us, uh, uh, go to Amazon.ca and um, download Kindle. It's only $2.99. Uh, support us by, by buying the Kindle version. And read my story. Reach out to me, um, you know, if you have any questions, if you'd like to, uh, if you have any comments on my story, um, you know, I really, really, really appreciate personal connections with people. And, um, you know, if I could uh, uh, connect with as many individuals as possible and make a positive difference in their life. And uh, that is a huge satisfaction for myself, right? So I'm looking forward to meeting you all and uh, waiting to hear back for, uh, about the feedback of my story. Thank you so much. And thank you so much, Yulpi. And of course, thank you, Landed for Success, uh, for the wonderful opportunity. Thank you. Thank you.